Hey, excuse me, man. I love your car. What do you do for a living? And obviously not enough. I'm pumping my own gas, but uh, actually I have a gas monkey garage. Gas monkey garage. Yeah. Cool, man. Awesome. I appreciate it. Thanks. Right Peace out. Yo, how many cars do you have, man? You again? <laughs> how many cars I got? A lot. Why don't you just come to the shop and check them out, man? Come to the shop. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Gas Monkey Garage, Daniel. Come check it out. Uh, I got a lot of cars in here. A lot of them I've acquired because most of the time when we build our cars, they uh, go to a customer. The inventory is always kind of changing around. Uh, it's different probably every week. I absolutely love early model Fords. So you got a 32 uh, steel Roadster, 31 Model A. A guy in California built that car. It's a piece of automotive jewelry. 32.3 window, 32.5 window. A Dodge Demon uh, body. Uh, no motor, no interior. Uh, I haven't decided wow. uh, what I'm gonna do with that, but uh, I guarantee you I'm the only one that has one. <laughs> 77 Trans Am, this is a car, it's a 6.6 four speed. It is a hoss to drive, it's a lot of fun. I had this car in high school, this exact same kind of car. It still didn't make me cool. I was kind of a, a tall, skinny, nerdy kid. <laughs> uh, this is a 65 Mustang K code, but then again, it's not. It's got a little meat under here. 59 Corvette, I pulled out of a garage here in Plano, Texas. If you go in your hot rod garage and something doesn't have a flat and something else has got a dead battery, then you, you don't have a very good hot rod garage. 86 Rolls Royce, because when I graduated high school, these were on the road and I just always wanted a black and red one. This is a 65 Mustang GT. This was actually my dad's car. A 36 Ford Roaster and a 1951 Ford Olac. This would have been called a Ford Olac because it's got a Cadillac motor in it from the 1950s. This was actually the first car that Gas Monkey Garage made as a business. This was our first car. This is the first. This is the first car we made. Hey, it and says don't touch the cars. Well, no, <laughs> I don't think it matters. 1931 Ford Model A, that was the first car we built on television. Wow, the original, this one. Yeah, yeah, so it was real cool. I got the first car we ever built, wow. and then I got the first car we ever built on television. Over here is where I keep the cars that I'm pretty much driving at the time. Uh, this is a 1931 Cadillac. This thing is huge. Yeah, this is, you know, if, in 1931, if you were cruising this to and from the old uh, um, golf club, so to speak, you were somebody. Yeah, you know? that is awesome. Sometimes I get uh, one of my millennials to drive me around while I drink beer in the back seat. <laughs> but I actually drive this car a lot, I like it. Obviously everybody's seen my Mustang and uh, we built this car about 14, 15 years ago, and I'll never sell it. It's just never gonna be available. So this is what you see on TV. This is where we build them. Wow. We can take a car from pushing it in the door to driving out in about 25 days. That's paint, interior, everything, motor, tranny, rear end, large suspension, you name it.